To create a simple table, all we need are these three um, elements. We just need the text, followed by the use of auto layout and some paddings. That's it, right? I'm going to show you, it's really simple. Add in the text, let me just call this uh, column one, and let me just call it column, column one. Okay, what I'm going to do is right click on the text and add an auto layout and then copy paste oops it's about time to sleep <laughs> let me just close this column two column three and maybe a column four all right now let me just select everything right click and add auto layout for the spacing between items, make sure that you set it to zero. The next thing that we want to do is to select all the columns and click on fill container. Okay. Change the frame name to header. Now, uh, no, let me just change, let me just call it row, right? For simplicity's sake. I'm gonna give it a white background. Click on fill, white background. And the next thing that I want to do is to add in a, um, a horizontal separator, okay? Click on stroke. And then I can see that there is this thing called strokes per side. Click on it, change from all to bottom. Black is a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to change it to something lighter. Something lighter. Mm, okay, this looks fine. C5, C5, C5. Okay, great. I always like to create a component out of the thing so that I can reuse them. So let me just create component. Click on asset and let me find row. Found the row, drag it here. Let me just close the asset. Okay. For this uh, row that I've just dragged in, select it, copy, and paste it. Uh, maybe let me just copy both of it. Copy and paste it again. I have four. Okay, just to make things a little bit, uh, you know, nicer in for presentations, I'm just going to copy two more and paste here right so right now i can make one header followed by one two three four five one header and uh, five uh, rows uh, below it okay so for the name uh, let me just i can give it any name i want um but let's just do this first okay let me just select all the rows right click on it and add auto layout for the spacing between items, let me change it to zero and make sure that the uh, directions of the auto layout is vertical. For the entire frame, I'm going to call it a table. If I drag this entire thing, you can see that um, it, is, it is not being resized accordingly. So what I'm going to do is to select all the rows within the frame. Right, select all the rows within the frame. Instead of fix, I'm going to change it to fill container. Right. Okay, cool. Mm, let's give you some uh, real world example. Maybe for this table, I uh, my customers, okay? I have the full name, uh, the email, the uh, contact, contact followed by uh, username, okay? For the full name, of course, I can just give it anything. Uh, I'm just going to pause and, you know, just fill in everything for you. All right. I have uh, filled up the, the rows with some sort of a sample data. As you can see, 
Um, that's how I go about the creating a table. Really simple and it doesn't take up a lot of a time. All right, so if you find this video helpful, you know, feel free to uh, like, comment and, you know, just subscribe. And if you'd like to see any other kind of a videos, tutorials, you know, feel free to comment down in the section below. And if it is within my means, you know, I'll be happy to create a video in terms of how to create it from scratch. All right, I'll see you in the next video.